Avatar Salai. We only have a name, no gender, no details whatsoever. But I think this avatar could have one of the most interesting stories in the lore. Let's put on our theory hats. Hey guys, welcome to the Geek Talk. Today, let's discuss the idea of Avatar Salai. It's something that you guys have been requesting since last year, since Rise of Kyoshi came out. So I decided to give in and actually look into the character. And I can tell you this, there's absolutely nothing about the character outside of two mentions in the book. There isn't even an Avatar wiki on him. There is no kind of lore information from a book or even like an interview with the creators. There's nothing at all. So how can I make an entire video about a character we do not know? Well, there are some details that we can uh, extrapolate from this person via the, the books itself and also the meaning behind their name. In the rise of Kiyoshi, it reads as such. Is it sad that I want a regular person there? He said, uh, by the way, this is Yoon saying this. Someone who'll be scared and impressed and overwhelmed just like me, and not another professional avatar monitor? That afterward, I want you to tell me I'm as good as Yang Chin or Salai, regardless of whether or not that's true. So of course we have Yoon talking to uh, Kiyoshi before they're going on their big mission at the beginning of that book. And he's just asking her to still like him even if he doesn't, you know, meet up to expectations. And this is the first mention we get of this character and they're being put on the same pedestal as Yang Chin. But why? We don't have any indication of why. Let's look into the other book as well. In the Shadow of Kiyoshi, it reads, Kiyoshi had tried reaching out to the previous generations of the cycle by meditating in the sacred places of the Southern Air Temple. Wayside shrines of the Earthen Kingdom dedicated to the great avatars like Yang Chan and Salai, spots of natural beauty atop mountains, and next to flowing rivers. So again, we get this idea of them, uh, the Salai person, being put on the same level as Yang Chen. So I want to first identify why is it that we love Yang Chen so much? Why is it in the world of Avatar they love her so much? And the reason we know this from the comics and also from the books is that she basically put humans before spirits. She was one of the best avatars to uplift human societies. So can we say Salai is put on that same pedestal for the same reason? So since we have absolutely no lore, no indication of who this person is, let's turn to the meaning of the word Salai itself. Miriam Webster defines it as an East Indian tree yielding red resin that is used as an incense and as medicine. So there's two things I want to focus on on that definition. First, let's talk about the East Indian stuff. And I think that actually gives us an indication of where Salai came from. Though the world of Avatar isn't directly tied to any specific Asian culture, uh, there's just influences from several cultures. It does seem like that East India, at least as it's represented within the lore, is represented mostly in the Earth Kingdom. So it could be that the Salai comes from the eastern or southern eastern borders of the Earth Kingdom. And considering that this Salai seems to be in recent memory, at least in recent memory in the Kyoshi era, it's probably a person who is a past life that didn't go past maybe four or five or six generations. So let's go back to this little picture that we always like going to when we're speculating about avatars in the past lives. So looking at this lineup, we only have two choices it seems, a uh, gray beard dude and black beard dude. Now, now, considering that the Greybeard dude looks like he has a military garb and looks like he's very military focused, I don't think that quite matches the definition of Salai as we've seen from the Merian Webster definition. Therefore, I'm gonna go and say that uh, Salai is this Blackbeard dude. And the reason I say that is because he's in more neutral garb and also I believe that Salai would have been tied to medicine, which leads us to the second part of the definition. So what makes him so famous? Why is someone who might be into medicine uh, that might have made some medical breakthroughs, what makes that person lauded as being one of the most prodigious and most celebrated avatars? And for me, I think this is possibly the stepping stones to one of the most interesting stories in Avatar. We've always seen them fighting against spirits or trying to manage the conflicts of, of humanity or dealing with big wars or whatever else. But one storyline that we have not seen, which is pretty mundane compared to those, I would admit, but it's a plague. We have talked about plagues before, you know, had the idea of pentapox, and that's kind of all we ever get of it, but what if there was a huge plague that happened sometime in the old times of Avatar? And this Salai, who has the definition of a name that is tied to medicine, was the person, or at least the lead person, to discover some new medical discovery that 
destroyed that plague and that's the reason why he is so celebrated. I think that is something that could be very interesting and would make sense and is all in line with the way this guy looks, the way his name is spelled, and also I think this would actually even fit into another part of the Avatar world that we don't see much of. And if this is the case, we could see a lot of different takes on Avatar. We would see more of an academic setting, we would see more sciencey stuff or just people experimenting and, and you know you would get like basically a contagion of Avatar which I would like to see because it would just be a different storyline not something that's just about fighting but you know something just about medicine which again is why I think an anthology series would be super dope for this. Again if you want to see what I was talking about with anthology series you can check this video right here. But we could even see some scenes of Avatar Salai getting help from the Medical Institute of Taku where we met the herbalist in the Blue Spirit episode. Or possibly he could have been the one to develop Taku and his followers could have gone on to do more medical work as herbalists. And I think that would be really cool. We would see more insight into a part of the world of Avatar that we don't see much of. I mean, he did get a brief mention in the Rise of Kyoshi novels, but it was more about political scheming. But seeing an Avatar that is basically just a medical person, just in the same way I think it's very interesting that Avatar Isito was a really interesting story because he's basically just an administrator. We can see someone who's basically just like a doctor and an inventor. And and I don't know, I think that would be an interesting uh, thought process. I'm glad you guys made me do this because it made me like actually look into <laughs> to all of this and you know create a theory off of it. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's possible that Avatar Salai could have been this medical savant? Or do you think that that's just silly and you have a different idea of what this Avatar could be? Let me know in the comments below or if you want to watch more of my videos, you can catch some more on the side of my face here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and remember, be water, my friends.